to the assign breakouts pre-assign mode so I want to show you the differences between that and the ad hoc they're all very very similar um, the first thing you would need to do in in both cases is you'd open up the main room open up your breakouts and then you're ready to go um, now I'm using the nickname uh, uh, example because that's really what's new in 16.2 all the breakouts are using nicknames there's no fixed URL there's no static URL it's 100% nicknames all right so we're gonna go here <coughs> and we're gonna look under here for the pre-assigned and I have a, a just a little bit of a blurb here it says uh, students can't be pushed they're not automatically you know thrown into these uh, breakout rooms I know that you know that might be more convenient as a teacher uh, as far as I know that's just the way Google Meet works if there's functionality later on that they introduce where you, they can actually you can actually you know make them go there then I'll add that in here all right so let's go to the the next part it says uh, copy pre-assigned the only difference between this and the ad hoc is the fact that you're not randomly assigning uh, on the fly you know during class you're not doing this during class you're doing it uh, before class starts you say I want all these students to be in these different breakouts it's really simple it's really simple all you do is you will just uh, uh, have some kind of text editor it doesn't really matter what it is it could be Microsoft Word or you know, just a generic text editor and I'm gonna make my text a little bit bigger uh, all you're doing is informing people all right so in my example I just have Alejandro and Travis so I, I could just say something like this you could just it doesn't even matter what you say. You can say, hi, everyone. <laughs> you, you don't need this intro, but I just want to show you that it's pretty flexible. You know, here's the breakouts. And you'll just copy everything in here. You have to be aware of the 500 character limitation. If you find that not everything gets copied in, then you should just copy in batches. Okay. So what I'm going to say here is I'm going to say, room one you don't even have to capitalize it it could be just misspelled or something and you can say Ala, Alejandro okay Alejandro is is here yeah, just you know Alejandro okay I don't I don't even include the last name and I'll say room two and Travis All right. and I just want to point out it doesn't even have to be uh, exactly spelled right uh, yeah I could put a, an extra s in there okay uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to take this and um, it doesn't really matter the order either I'm just going to copy this list and I'm just going to paste it in the chat box here and so there we go everybody sees that all right so if I'm Alejandro I go oh I'm in room one if I'm Travis I'm in room two okay so that's fine so let me just get this out of the way now the next step is you're going to copy the breakout room links and uh, Every story needs two parts, at least that's what I'm saying here for this uh, Google Meet Breakouts extension. You need two halves, all right? So the first half is uh, what is the address of the room? So the address of the room is this, and I'm using nicknames. And the second half of the story is, well, who is in what room? So uh, actually, I reverse the order here. It doesn't matter. So I could say in, uh, in room number one, Alejandro is here. If I had more students, you know, I can add, add more. You know, I could just say, uh, you know, Susan is also in here, and uh, Alex, and so on. And then this might be um, Jennifer and Lucy. Okay. And in which case, I would just copy all that in. Okay. And then the next step is uh, copying in the addresses. Now, you'll notice these, you'll notice these addresses are... Um, these addresses are nicknames. Now, I, I showed in the previous video for ad hoc that uh, this goes to each of these students' uh, chat box, uh, chat chat box, and then they will uh, in the main in their main room, and then they will just click on the link. And because they are all within the same organization, it will resolve to this uh, meet URL, and this one will resolve to that meet URL, meet URL, and so on. So that's how it works for uh, assigned breakouts. It's it's almost exactly the same as the ad hoc the only difference is this first part you do on your own you just manually do it on your own before class starts you come up with these groups that you think are reasonable and uh, you just paste them in and that's it be aware of the 500 character limitation if you paste this in and you realize that not everybody gets is displayed then just paste it in batches okay so that's it